March 2020. The arrival of coronavirus to Latin America was imminent, and governments decreed confinement measures to control the pandemic. School closures meant that 193 million boys and girls would spend more time at home. Latin America, with a population of 650 million, is the region in development with more progress in the entire world. According to CEPAL, 80% live in urbanized areas. We are talking about 520 million people who had to stay at home, most of them with fewer than 70 square meters where they would have to study, work remotely, and share the same technological devices at the same time. Staying at home saves lives, was the message that many businesses and governments issued to incite respect for the regulations. People started to recognize in their medics and nurses their new heroes. That is when we, Ideas Without Borders, identified that the same battle was being fought, both at hospitals and at home, by parents who were trying their best so their children would not be affected by the circumstances. We came up with a creative concept, superheroes at home, if respecting the rules means not going out, and looking for economic resources from home to help the family was being a hero, children who could collaborate with their parents' new responsibilities would not only be heroes, but superheroes. And how could a child collaborate with his parents? By being more autonomous, independent and supportive at home. So we created a home version of a camp, called Superheroes for a Better World. We took the idea of camping that every child likes, and using recreational activities, we identified the topics we wanted to develop. Self-knowledge, self-concept, self-evaluation, self-efficiency, self-acceptance, self-care, self-improvement, self-realization, and self-esteem. We implemented activities for every topic with a team of educators and advertisers to achieve a formula that was both creative and educational, and that would last for two weeks. We also noticed that due to the pandemic, many people migrated their activities to the virtual world by using web conferences that easily turned a passive user into just a viewer, and under the confinement excuse, productions recorded with cell phones did not fulfill the quality that their services promised. We decided that our camp would be different. The quality of the products would be full HD, and the contents would not be intended for the child to remain in front of a screen. On the contrary, the screen would be the starting point for the child to carry out other activities at home. We presented the proposal to the bank BCI from Chile, and they did not only say yes, they gave us the opportunity to invite the children of all their employees to the camp. We only had one problem. We had five days to get everything ready. We built a team without borders. Graphic design in Canada, animations in Peru, music in Venezuela, and audiovisual production in Chile. After 48 hours of recording and 72 of post-production, we had more than 12 episodes recorded with three cameras, special effects, our own music, and we created a private group in social media to ensure parental control of children's access to the internet. Each day, participants received a motivational video in the morning with the activities to develop and a complimentary one in the afternoon to reinforce the day's lessons. Parents recorded their children's progress and shared it with the rest of the community. The goal was for each participant to identify their strengths, weaknesses, tastes and preferences to become capable of creating their own superhero. These activities were reinforced with live web conferences, where the children could interact live with their facilitators, carrying out various activities, yoga, choreographies, contests. They even got in touch with real-life heroes, firefighters, who gave them a tour through their company and answered all their questions. Finally, to strengthen their relationship with the participants, a Spotify account was created for the superheroes, with the soundtrack for the camp. This helped parents get involved with their children's activities. The result. More than 200 families gave positive feedback to the program we prepared for them during the two most difficult weeks of confinement. Our activities helped children develop their creativity in a fun way, a way that also had an academic background. The future. Profits from the camp were destined to donations for the firefighters, to the fair payment of our professionals and to hiring a team that evaluates the experience and takes it to more countries as a superhero school that allows us to generate new camps of various lengths, as well as workshops for super parents who are now teachers for their kids at home. If more companies join in hiring our superheroes camp for a better world, Ideas Without Borders will have the ability to donate free camps to children of firefighters, health professionals, and other heroes that day by day risk their lives to look after people they don't even know. 
the camp truly creates superheroes. Children know that flying or lifting a car is fiction and that he or she has the real power to help his or her family lead a better life.